So here we are, our first week in Colombia, and the craziness of Bogota, um, the wonderful colonial buildings, and then the beauty of Salento coffee plantations, the Cocora Valley. I really hope you enjoy this video. Hola, and welcome to week 12 of our um, adventures. We arrived uh, just over a week ago in Bogota and spent two or three days there. Um, quite a Quite an edgy city, um, lots of um, dodgy areas. The area we were staying in was a kind of typical tourist area with lots of history. Um, you know, we saw some you know, some nice sights. Montserrat went on a fantastic walking tour, which yeah, and you, you particularly liked. Didn't yeah, you? it was good just to see the, the the buildings were really beautiful in the centre of Bogota, colonial style buildings, but they were all covered with black because of graffiti. Um, but it was good to get the history yeah. of Bogota um, and then the transition to Salento. Um, we took a bus, six hours. Um, it was so, so beautiful up there. We were there for four days. Four days, that was just heaven. A complete contrast, as you say, to Bogota. Um, Salento is a beautiful, beautiful, beautiful town surrounded by stunning countryside, uh, lots of hikes. Um, just fantastic, fantastic experience and a yeah. brilliant um, uh, hostel that we stayed in, the Coffee Tree Boutique Hostel, it was fantastic. Yeah, uh, Bogota, good, a good start, yeah. but Salento uh, was just absolutely beautiful. So I hope you enjoy the video. We're moving on to Medellin, so we'll see you there. Hasta luego. Hasta luego. So we arrived in Bogota at four o'clock in the morning. It was crazy getting a taxi through the back streets of the city. A little bit scary. Um, so good morning. It's o'clock in the morning. We have arrived in Bogota. Uh, we can't get in a room, but the moon is amazing. I'm trying to be very quiet because everybody's sleeping. Oh, have a look here. It's around this hammock in Gandhi. Trying to try to sleep because there's people sleeping. So this is our hostel, Hostel Granada. So it's just a little tour of what it's like. Uh, it was nice. It was really nice. And there's Andy in the hammock trying to sleep. So this is the kitchen area. We didn't use it. Um, this is the kind of cafe come restaurant. We were ready for breakfast. Um, it was around about three pound for a good breakfast. And this is the outside of our hostel, Hostel at Granada in the old town. Here in the old part of Bogota, here, Candelaria, apparently now. We're here in uh, the centre of Bogota. So all these magnificent buildings around the Plaza Bolivar were covered in red, in black drapes, and this was to stop graffiti. We did a brilliant um, walking tour. Uh, we got a really good feel of the history of Bogota, uh, as well as tasting some juice and some coffee. That's the coffee shop there. People also say that the juice is amazing for... And then we ended up in Café Mercado, a very cute coffee shop in La Candelaria, where we learned a little bit more about coffee and tasted some coffee too. And here are a few shots of um, La Candelaria. found some good restaurants. Um, the Huitzlin restaurant um, was a bit like being in a cocoa film and we had free shots. And then we found this Quinea Amaranti restaurant that was three courses for £10. Uh, all vegan and vegetarian um, and beautiful surroundings. And then the second evening we went down to the next hostel, Hostel Selena, who had a restaurant and bar. We had a great night. It was jazz night. We decided 
we wanted to go up to Montserrat, which is above Bogota, about 400 meters above Bogota. Uh, but we took the cable car rather than walk. So we're here at the top of Montserrat. It's absolutely incredible. It's 2,600 meters. So I'm going to check out how high we are here. But every step you take, it feels as though you're using a lot of energy. So here we go. The next day we had a very early start, 4.30 taxi from our hostel taking us to the Salitre bus terminal um, where we caught a very nice bus, Exp Express Palmyra, that took us to Armenia. to Armenia which is a dropping a stopping off point en route to Salente. Um, we've gone through some pretty amazing scenery haven't we? Some real we changes in yeah, 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 yeah. Uh, yeah. At the moment uh, Julia just switch it around we're literally on the edge of a banana plantation uh, with the hills behind so obviously it is the foothills of the Andes um, but we're coming down from started at 2600 in Bogota and we go down to 1500 meters when we get to Salenta. Good to do the journey through the day so we've been able to see this. Yeah. Because you yeah. can we set off at six this morning um, and we're due to arrive at 215. Although I get the feeling it might be a bit later. We're following a very big, very slow lorry. The maybe. lorries are massive. I'm gonna try and get a picture of some of these lorries. They're looking, yes. they're so big. Anyway, just do another shot of what we can see out of the window. There we go. Orange tree. Oh yeah. So this is the Coffee Tree Boutique Hostel. It's situated on the edge of Salenta, about a five minute walk, um, just on the edge of town with fantastic views. Um, you can see some lovely outside space with tiered gardens. Um, this pathway leads down to a further area which is covered and it's got uh, hammocks and a bonfire pit. The staff are fantastic, uh, really friendly, efficient and very, very helpful. Uh, so inside, really nice, light and airy reception area with comfy chairs, tables, there's a kitchen for uh, the hostel uh, guests and then upstairs, massive uh, balcony space over the reception area. And again, these lovely, wonderful views. Our room was a double room, light and airy, with an ensuite and another um, balcony with views over the other side. That view. So this is the main street in Salenta, Calle Irial, and we're going to go right up the top to the viewing point. Look at this cute cafe, swings for seats. You can see the steps up to the viewing plateau. We are about 1500 meters above sea level here. So much lower than we were in um, Bogota, uh, but it still take your breath away a bit as you uh, start going up the hill. 
just gorgeous views from the top. There are lots of street vendors along Calle Real and Andy wanted to try this Michelada con Mango. It's basically um, shredded mango, beer, chilli, salt around the rim, uh, lime. Andy said, delicious. <laughs> So main form of transportation in Salento is via jeeps. Just waiting for our jeep to take us to the coffee tour. This is the Ocaso coffee plantation where, where we had our coffee tour. This is from a small village from Ethiopia called Kafa. That is why in the translation, you know, we know that's coffee or cafe because of the place where we found it. But then how is it discovered? There is a lot of different stories of how is it discovered, but the one biggest part of the market of coffee in the world. The other one, the other one, which is like a little popular, is called Liberica. So we're now picking. <laughs> picking coffee beans and we've got to find the yellow or the red ones. Yellow and red. Yeah, there's my beans that I've picked. So if you want we can choose a new one because we have what I see here is over right there. This is a like a tiny funnel. <laughs> The lady at the uh, kiosk has just told us it's going to be six hours. So, and Mia, it feels like Encanto. Well, there's big signs all uh, everywhere <laughs> saying with um, where you can get your photograph taken with Encanto. <laughs> Julie's over there. Wave, wave. And you can see the valley below us. So this is. I think it's just about 7k and we are at 1k mark. There you go. <laughs> oh my gosh, look. Oh, look at this platform. <laughs> and the cloud cover coming in, look. Yeah, got my green jacket. <laughs> There's two parrots. Okay, so this isn't something we were told about before we came. Um, Puma. No. Leon de Montagna. <laughs> and from the rivers. Water to go. So we're here at the Akamin Nature Reserve. So we've got to pay 20,000 um, COP, yeah, each. We're just at the Akami Natural Reserve having a hot chocolate. And he's in. <laughs> <laughs> Is that cold? It's really cold. <laughs> so I'll speak really loudly because I haven't got the microphones on. Um, and we are just below the waterfalls 
Andy is in again. This is the start of the Santa Rita waterfall. So there's a guy serving food at the top, uh, so we like chocolate and cheese, believe it or not. Got it. And a little sneak preview of what's to come. Now this is one of those real 